The last 150 years uh, have been very harsh to Indigenous people, so the, the title Shame and Prejudice is, is I, I wanted to have a, a strong title that you know, Canadians could really reflect on. You know, as they're celebrating the birthday of this country, they're really thinking about what, um, what happened to Indigenous people in that last 150 years. I wanted to create a body of work that would reflect on what the last 150 years have, has meant to Indigenous people. And when I thought about it, I realized that essentially it was running parallel to the period of modern art. And so as I created this exhibition, I was thinking about art history and history and how these um, stories about Indigenous people and stories about ourselves have been uh, represented in museums or have not been represented in museums. Some of the main things that I wanted to focus on were the big events that uh, affected Indigenous people, the policies of the Canadian government over the last 150 years. So if we go back to the mid-19th century, we have the beginning of the, the signing of the treaties, uh, the Western treaties, the, the reserve system. Uh, which began this legacy of uh, incarceration. We see paintings that are, reflect on um, the experience of Indigenous people living in, in cities. Now, most Indigenous people live in cities. What does that mean? Mm -hmm. 